Okay, welcome back again today. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about spark plugs. This is a lawnmower, non-resistive type. I guess the gap is like, uh, let's see here. If we look at a gapping meter, we're going down to, you know, 0 0.020 something. Well, we know that this can jump three to four inches, right? That's a lawnmower non-resistive plug. This resistive plug, because if we look on Champion, we can find that it has an R. We don't want that. Because the spark will only jump, you know, within a certain range and be all good and whatever. And then we found we had a non-resistive plug in there. But we said, well, I did today. I'm like, okay, I got a 64. You know, the gap is a zero point. Uh, let's see, I measured it at point. Let's see. Point. Point zero three one. Okay. And then we took it and we gapped that, we took that gap and we edged it up until we already hit 0 0.100, all right? When we did this and we increased that gap level, we know that we can jump that spark, okay? Instead of sitting there, we increased it out. So when we brought it out, we knew one thing, that we knew we can jump the spark. I wonder if we can get rid of this, but we knew we can jump that spark and probably hit the other side of the cylinder. Well, I haven't tried that yet, but today we brought it out to uh, point one zero zero. All right, and in millimeters, uh, that's beyond two point four millimeters. Okay, if we did that normally, I really highly doubt we'll get a lot of what we're looking for. So we want power and gas savings, but at the same time, we just wanted to test this, and we're working with Autolite, NASCAR Forma Series, really cheap brand, sixty-five. All right. And let's see here, I got four spark plugs. Cheap, didn't want to go with platinum yet. We wanted to try this out. So we went up to beyond, let's see here. Yeah, past 2.4 millimeters easily. So that is in the range of 2.5, 2.4. Normally, you're not gonna start and run with that. So to overcome the hesitation of startup, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit the gas when we first start it up and it's gonna kick in. Otherwise, if you just crank, it's gonna turn and turn and turn and turn, but we have, it's not used to that type of mixture. So they're not gauged like this. They just come, you know, I don't know what people are thinking when they have them gap so small, but that's the only way we could fire before. But with the KML, the way we have it, we have a tap here on the battery in here, just a tap. And over here inside, we have just one KML running to the main distributor line. I'll show you that in a minute. Hang on. 